Get one, get one, get one. Just got it. Yep, here he is. There he is. Southern Dusky Salamander. The fact they occurred in half of Florida and half of Georgia, and now only occur in less than 1% of that area, is pretty shocking. This entire problem has been a real mystery to us on what could have caused this decline. And the real conundrum is the fact that we are finding them in places like this, but not in river systems that are immediately adjacent and have the same habitat. So trying to discover why they disappeared there and not here is a really interesting problem. And furthermore, it's really interesting to see that those other streams still have other species of salamanders, even species that are in the same genus, but not this one. So whatever wiped out our species, the Southern Dusky, didn't seem to affect the other ones to the same extent. And that's where the real mystery lies, because what could have affected just this species and nothing else? So many of the things that we're investigating are pathogens, invasive species, and or some sort of chemical contaminant, uh, like pollution. The fact this species is in such a precarious position is really kind of frightening to me. We are currently in the Anthropocene, and we are in the next mass extinction uh, by all accounts. And if this species does go extinct, it's just gonna be one more on that list. And I think that's very unfortunate because every individual alive today represents an unbroken chain of reproductive success. These salamander lineages have been living and reproducing just as long as our lineages have. So their disappearance is very significant to us because they are our cousins on this planet. It's like losing a family member if they go extinct. What I want to really emphasize is that the disappearance of this species and our investigation of that disappearance is not just for this one species, it's for all salamanders in the United States. This can be a case study to show what happens when a species goes extinct, how it can go extinct, and what could happen as a result of that. And for me, that's the gold medal, that's the standard. If we were able to bring a species back from the brink of extinction, then I would consider my career a success.